Ben just goes on this rant about chickens pooping and <laughs> Jem can't believe that she's going to marry this person and spend the rest of her life with them. Um, and that was the first day I met Austin actually and he pretty much stayed in character the whole day. So um, I was pleasantly surprised when I met the real Austin. <laughs> How are you, Eliza? <laughs> well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fabulously. Uh, <laughs> I love Starling Girl, first of all. I saw it first at Sundance and now again in the comfort of my home. And uh, uh, I really love how the dance group, you know, in the worship dance is used to, to help tell Jem's story and her mm. reflection of her faith and herself. What was it like to con- for you to connect uh, through dance to her and how did you learn the dance? I'm the same. I loved the dancing part of the film. I think it's was such a um such a genius storytelling tool. Um it's so visual, like it's um such a visual way to represent someone's devotion to God. And I think it really it was a interesting way to sort of signpost Jem's uh self-discovery. Um, you know, as she gets into this relationship with Owen and has a sexual awakening. Her her dance moves become more expressive and sensual. Um, and I'm not a dancer, so I had to practice. I had to work at it. We so one of the girls in the in the dance troupe actually uh, mm-hmm. was the choreographer for the dance, um, and she was incredible. And we on a Saturday, two Saturdays, we learned it. I'm pretty sure. Um, and I was just practicing in my apartment mm-hmm. every night before the before the big day. Um, and I loved it. It was it's really fun to uh, learn something physical for a role other than you know learning lines and stuff. Yeah. But speaking of learning lines, you have done many a role a role with a uh, not your own accent. What is yep. your <laughs> what is your approach to different accents? My approach is uh fail, fail, fail until it kind of gets better. Um I don't I also just love accents. I love um learning a new accent and uh yeah, I have an amazing dialect coach. Mm. Um Victoria and we went over it together and I don't know I I actually find it really helpful having accents um to get into a character it just feels quite um immersive for me I think it's great that Starling Girl really focuses on Jem's perspective and also her own desires right it's not just Owen sweeping her off into Neverland um so what is it that you think draws Jem to Owen what does she see in him she's not getting elsewhere. I think Owen represents possibility for Jem. Um, they both feel, they're both questioning their faith and they both feel somewhat like an outsider as a result of questioning their faith. And they, they find a friend in each other and they're able to have candid conversations about God with each other that are direct. And, um, you know, I think, Jem's never had this deep connection with anyone before. And I don't think Owen has either. Owen feels very unheard uh, by his church and especially his dad. Um, So I think they see in each other possibility um, and they don't feel judged by each other. Um, And that's a really powerful thing. Yeah. On the other hand, uh, we have Ben Taylor, poor Ben Taylor and Austin Abrams, <laughs> uh, just playing him like the, the saddest boy. <laughs> what was that dynamic like for you? And also, that, I mean, like, I love that scene where your parents, Jim's parents are like, you're going to marry into the pastor's family. And you're like, I don't, I don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> like, <what's that? laughs> oh my God. I think that was honestly the, the comic relief of the whole film. Um, I remember that day shooting that scene with with Austin of you know Jem and um Ben on the swings and uh Ben just goes on this rant about chickens pooping and <laughs> Jem can't believe that she's going to marry this person and spend the rest of her life with them um and that was the first day I met Austin actually and he pretty much stayed in character the whole day so um I was pleasantly surprised when I met the real Austin <laughs> 
I know this, you know, it's an indie film. There's not that much time, but I believe, did you guys have some amount of rehearsal beforehand discussions with Laurel to really get to the characters and also block certain things? How did that and Laurel's, I guess, inexperience as a director (laughs) change, you know, your perspective on Jem and the story? Yeah, I, well, we were so lucky to have rehearsals and we made it a priority. Lewis and I really wanted that time and so did Laurel. Um, And, you know, this film has been with Laurel for a long time. So she, she knew exactly what she wanted from every scene and she had thought about it so much that she knew exactly what she needed to say for, for us to understand where she wanted us to go in, in the characters. Um, And she's really good at talking to directors. I mean, actors, sorry. Um, she knows how to translate the result she wants into, you know, workable direction. Um, Cause often directors might tell you what they want, but um, not tell you how to get there. And Laurel does a really, really good job of that. Lastly, but not leastly, you will be uh, in a film with Dylan O'Brien and Lauren Ambrose coming up soon. What is the status on that? What can you tell me? Well, I mean, I don't really know the status on that mm-hmm. one yet. The, I think the film is finished, um, mm-hmm. but I'm very excited about that one. I still haven't seen it. And I'm uh-huh. dying to see it. So, yes, <laughs> I wish I knew all. That's all right. Thank you so much. Uh, you did a lovely, lovely work in Starling Girl and also Little Women. Just Thank you. <laughs> have, a, <laughs> have a great day.